In this video, we're going to learn how to create a Lua project for use with Ultra Engine and Visual Studio Code. So the first thing we do is open the Project Manager and press the Create button. And we just have this Lua template to worry about. So we press Next. And our project is created. We can click on that and then the editor will just load up that project. Now the easiest way to get this open in Visual Studio is to just double click on this bat file. And this launches Visual Studio Code and it tells it to load this folder up. Now there's two things we need to do before we start running the game. One is we need to make sure the Lua debugger extension is installed. And this is a really great extension for VS Code that allows really good debugging in Lua. And then the other thing we need to do is take a look at the settings. And the easiest way to find this setting is to just type in breakpoints and search for it. That's it. Allow breakpoints everywhere. We want this to be checked. If it's not checked, then we can't set breakpoints in a Lua file. But when it is checked, now we can set our breakpoints. And that's used for debugging. So let's try running the game. This just shows the default map we can run around. And this shows off a few features of the engine. Let's take a look at the debugging. Like I said before, we can set breakpoints. And then as long as we're running in debug mode, when the code hits that breakpoint, it will stop. And now we have this really nice debugging interface. This is really fantastic to have with Lua. We can look at all our variables. We can even hover, we can even hover over variables in the editor and look at them this way. So this is really fantastic to have working with Lua. Another detail I want to mention is that although Lua is a script, it's an interpreted script. And so that makes its execution speed uh, slower than something like C++. That typically doesn't matter because all of your game code is running on its own thread in Ultra. So as long as your code is executing within the allocated time, which is about 16 milliseconds, then you're perfectly fine using Lua for most games. Even for VR projects, uh, Lua will be just fine. So that's the basics of setting up a Lua project for use with Ultra Engine. Please stop by the forums if you have more questions. Hope to see you there.